Hello YouTube land and welcome back to the Chaos Asylum. I am your host Alex Payne. Today is Monday Night Raw. This is the Monday Night Review. It is just now starting. So welcome. Let's see what happens tonight. Welcome back. What the heck just happened? AJ Styles kicked off the show, came out, was talking and cutting promos. Uh, pretty much saying that, you know, at Extreme Rules this Sunday, he's going to become the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. And also, that people have been accusing him, and he's tired of people thinking that he is lying. He showed some, some tweets from people, and whatnot. Roman Reigns comes out, they cut a promo on each other, uh, and whatnot. And then, uh, Anderson and Gallows comes out. And then <clears throat> Roman uppercuts AJ, knocks him out of the ring. The Usos are in the ring, walk away. We found out a couple things tonight. Uh, one, there's going to be a contract signing with uh, for the women's championship at Extreme Rules. Sami Zayn versus Cesaro next, and uh, the Usos versus the Club tonight. Let's see what happens. And welcome back. Well, the Cesaro Sami Zayn match pretty much ended up, you know, not going on that long. Kevin Owens and the Miz are out there chip chatting and whatnot. Uh, Kevin Owens is like, "Well, you know what? I won't be around here no more." He walked away a little bit, attacked the Miz, beat him up there, beating each other up, threw him in a ring. Sammy went after Kevin. Cesaro went after Miz. Started beating each other up. Shane came out and said, "You know what? Well, we're pretty much gonna have a match." Tonight, tag team match, Sami Zayn and Cesaro versus The Miz and Kevin Owens. Stephanie comes out. She's like, oh, no, no, no. We, we see what happened on SmackDown. She's like, so we're going to change it up a bit. It's going to be Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens versus The Miz and Cesaro. And Shane's like, that's not bad. Not bad. Okay, cool. He's like, oh, and that match is next. And I forgot to say, too, Stephanie said if Kevin Owens would walk out on Sami Zayn, that he should not bother of showing up to Extreme Rules. Pretty much saying, if he walks out on Sami Zayn, he's out of the match and Extreme Rules. Alright, the tag team match between Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn versus Cesaro and The Miz. Went back and forth, tagging in and out, tagging in and out, chaos everywhere. Pretty much what happened was, the way the match ended, the Miz tagged himself in. Uh, Zoro, I guess, didn't notice. He was going to go for a Cesaro swing. Miz got mad, threw him out of the ring, and then he was going to go for the Cesaro swing. Cesaro gets back in the ring, hits the skull crushing finale. Kevin Owens pulls out Se uh, Cesaro. Sammy does it. Zayn does a Hanuva kick. And I got chips. Lovely. Three different flavors. Three different flavors. This guy's excited. Wow. Uh, and then. Pretty much pulled him, uh, pulled Cesaro out. Hanuva, uh, uh, Kevin Owens pulled out Cesaro, threw him into the barricade. Hanuva kicked to the maze. One, two, three. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens wins. And then uh, a promo gets cut backstage with Renee Young. <coughs> I see Chris Jericho about what's he think about Dean Ambrose calling him out tonight. And he said he better be calling him out to apologize to him or else. Oh, and the, uh, Carlito. Not Carlito, but, um. Oh, God. Primo and Epico are going to make their in-ring debut next. And we're back. Well, that match didn't take long. Epico and Primo pretty much dominated the match. Face the two guys in the home state of North Kakalaki, Green Wherever they're at. <clears throat> Pretty much hit this move. Uh, I call it high-low. Uh, it's a combination of sweeping the legs and like a spin heel kick. Uh, and whatnot. So. They won the match. One, two, three. 
went backstage. They uh, showed Shane and oh, what's his name, Dean Ambrose, and Dean Ambrose is calling Jericho out next. And we're back. Let's just say Ambrose called Jericho out just to challenge him to a match. Now the match is called the Asylum. It's a new match. The concept of it is it's a steel cage with weapons on top of it. And I guess you can't escape the cage through the door. Or over the top rope, so I'm get over the top rope, over the cage. So I'm guessing you have to get pinfall or submission. So yeah, that's what's up. Welcome back. Uh, the match just happened was Dana Brooke versus the little last kicker, and uh, this match went back and forth. Uh, pretty much ended up with a roll up. One, two, three. Then it broke one. And I guess Emma's out now with a back injury. So, yeah. I guess that's her. Oh, nice, huh? Oh my god. Wow. We finally get to see the golden truth. Do a, they do a little video leading up to them coming out. They have a tag team match tonight, and it's Gold Dust and R Truth. As a golden truth, and I'm guessing they're going to go up against Tyler Breeze and, um, what's his name? Von Dango. See what happens. I don't know what to say about this match. It was a short match. Uh, they did a golden truth face off against Breeze Dongo. Or whatever the hell they're calling themselves. And uh, R-Truth was going for the... Uh, he went for a heel kick. Breeze ducked. He hit R-Truth. Breeze threw him out of the ring. Zero R-Truth out of the ring. Excuse me. Pinned gold dust. One, two, three. And... Tyler Breeze and... Fondogo wins. Wow. I don't know. I do not know. Well, what happened next was that the New Day came out. We're cracking jokes on the Vaughn villains, and then they built like a had a time machine looking thing in the ring, and then they went back in time. Uh, Kofi Kingston jumped out, and it was like. Back, supposed to be like back in 2009. When he's like, no, 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 I want to stay here. Don't make me go back. And he pulls him back into the time machine. And pretty much what happened was, uh, Bob Villains didn't find it too funny. They came out and attacked. Excuse me. They came out and attacked the New Day. Threw Big E into the steel post. Hit this suplex set out power bomb on Kofi Kingston. And then, like, this double, like, I guess, some kind of slam to Xavier. And then it did the whole. And then, uh, the match up next is going to be the Usos with Roman Reigns in their corner versus Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows with AJ Styles in their corner. Wow, what a match. I'll tell you what. AJ Styles and Gallo in Anderson's corner. Roman Reigns in the Usos' corner. This match went back and forth. It was crazy. The Usos had control. The Gallows and Anderson's had control. This match broke down. Double super kicks to Gallows. Double super kicks to Anderson. Super fly splash. One, two, three. <clears throat> the Usos win. Roman gets in the ring. AJ's in the ring. And whatnot. Okay. Then. Luke Gallows comes and knocks. You know AJ. I mean Roman into AJ. Uh, and then Usos pretty much take out. Gallows. Uh, and then. 
Anderson tries to bring a steel chair in. They, then the, uh, Jay takes him out. Leaves the steel chair in there. Everybody goes away. Leaving Roman and Dean. Roman and Dean. I mean Roman and AJ Styles in the ring with the chair. AJ sees it, takes his shirt off, goes for the steel chair shot, gets up for cutted by Roman. Roman cracks him in the back one time. Uh, Superman punched the gallo. Yeah, the gallows. Superman punched the Anderson. AJ gets it, cracks him in his gut, busts him back four times. Styles clashes him right on to the steel st chair. He walks away. Let's see what happens next. And we're back once again. Uh, the match that just happened was Big Cass, and we were going to figure out which one of the Deadly Boys he was going to face. And it ended up being Devon. This match went on for a couple of minutes. Uh, Bubba distracted him when he pulled out the uh, tables. Devon slid in the ring, started beating up on Big Cass a little bit. Uh, and then he threw Devon into Bubba. They stopped. Bubba pushed Devon out of the way. He got big booted. And then Devon got the East River Crossing. One, two, three. And then pretty much Big Kaz was interrupted when he was about to spell out soft. And he was like, before I was interrupted, I was only one word that's got to describe you. And I'm going to spell that out for you. S-A-W-F-T. Soft. I'm guessing the uh, contract signed for the Divas champ the Women's Championship. Sorry. Uh, is going to probably be like the last thing. I don't know. Let's find out. Next matchup was Kalisto, the United States champion, versus Alberto Del Rio. This match went back and forth. Uh, at one point in the match, uh, the, they were showing that Kalisto Sin Cara was watching and whatnot and saying that it didn't matter if like Kalisto had a great singles career or whatnot, but and, and whatnot. They're still good friends and they'll still be partners and he always has his back. So it cuts back to uh, Sinkara again. And Rusev is back there beating the living crap out of him. And pretty much uh, <clears throat> Alberto Dorio is like making Sinkara watch as this happens. Uh, you know, and then Kalisto. Pretty much loses the match to Alberto Del Rio. Sin Cara is out there uh, just laying helplessly because Rusev is dragging him out. Uh, and then he and then Rusev gets in the ring. Super does that super kick big boot to the back of Callisto's head. Puts him in this wicked, wicked, I mean wicked, uh... Oh god, my brain, I have a brain fart right now. Um, the accolade and whatnot. Like, it was crazy. Like, something, like it, your back is not supposed to bend like that, Jesus. Uh, and pretty much what's going to happen now is that the WWE Women's Championship contract is up next. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, this contract signing was just like any other normal contract signing that you've seen. So, they're out there. They cut a promo on each other. Natalia signed the contract first. And then Charlotte looked at it. She's like, oh, wait, wait, wait. What's this right here? And the added stipulation now is... If Ric Flair at Extreme Rules comes down the rampway... Or does anything, I guess, to come down that rampway. Charlotte is automatically stripped of the Women's Championship. And whatnot. Um, so, yeah. Then uh, they told her directly. They said, hey, if you don't sign it right now either, you're stripped of it right now. So she signed the contract. Chaos happened. Is it really? And, uh... You know, it's crazy. Sugar-free syrup. Sugar-free syrup. Yeah. Huh. And pretty much what happened was... Hi, big guy. And pretty much what happened was...
pretty much what happened was, ladies and gentlemen. That Charlotte tapped out to the sharpshooter. Ah, so leave a comment, hit the like button, and if you haven't ever done it already, subscribe and smash that subscribe button.